Hey guys, you ever needed to export some data card columns from a bunch of files at one time, maybe to create some part masters in your ERP system? Well, this Q-tip is for you. We're going to do that using Dispatch. Basically, you'd have a text file export that would look something like this. You know, tab delimited, you can open this in Excel and then export it over. Just put it into a network folder where your ERP can consume it. Let's do this. So I've got a data card inside my PDM vault. I've got lots of SOLIDWORKS files and I've got like a part number, which is actually just the variable name number, description, uh, project number, revision, other fields that are on my data card that I want to be able to export into a format like this. Dispatch will actually do it using the generate parameter file. Boy, this is just a little known unsung gem that's hidden deep inside the bowels of your dispatch system. That sounds terrible. Anyway, let's go. So let's take a look at dispatch. Put it into a menu command, and we're going to call this export bomb. And then inside of this box, we're going to have an, an edit box. Basically, we want to put in some kind of prompt so that it will tell the user what they need to put in. So enter the bomb export file name, and, and I'm just going to say no extension. If you get this too long, it actually cuts it off of the, the dialog box for prompting them. And then we're going to give it a, a, this runtime variable called bomb file name. Now, we're not going to really do anything with that bomb file name except assign the file name to the export file. In order for this to work, we actually have to use a template file, which is pretty cool because PDM tells you the instructions for it in the help. So it's going to use a, I'm basically just creating a text file that has number in these percentage delimiters, uh, and then I've got a tab in between each one. If I were to click inside here, this is a tab. You know, there's another tab, and then here's another tab. And I want to collect the, the number, the description, product, uh, project number, and the revision. And so first, in my variables of this dispatch, I need to set those up. So let's just put them up here side by side. I want to collect the number, the description, the project number, and the revision. And so that's the reason why using the, the percentage signs, because these are tags. These are the variables that we're going to populate in here line by line. All right, so you're with me so far. The bomb file name is just a runtime variable. We're going to use that as an input from the input box. And then the export file name, we really don't need that one. So let's click OK here. I'm going to do block start and block in. So I've got a for all documents and in for all documents. And then in the middle, I'm going to generate a parameter file. You're going to be able to add this by going to add and then using the pull down and going to generate parameter file. So this is what that would look like. I'm telling PDM for the template that it's going to be using this export file that we were looking at just a moment ago. This is in my templates folder in the EquiviQ PDM uh, vault. And then this is the contents of it. There's no line breaks at the end. But any static text that I put in here, it's going to put into the file that we create. The file name that we're going to create, which is going to be the output, will be that bomb file name in percentage brackets or percentage signs. That will help us to essentially give it a variable file name that can be used specifically for whatever we want to type in. Here's the key. If I want to have multiple lines in here, I'm going to tell this append to file if it already exists, and then assign the file name to export file name. What this is this assigning file name to is it's taking this file name, it's actually assigning it to this variable export file name, which is a runtime variable. We don't need it in our case. You can use it if you wanted to. Uh, you know, take whatever file name here and then parse it in your variables, you can do that as well. But that's what that's for. So let's click OK there. And then I just put a quick message box here at the end that it's done. The process has been completed. Let's go give this a try. So we click OK. And remember, anytime you do this within your vault, you always want to test this out in a sandbox environment first. Don't go straight to your production vault. This is actually where we do a lot of the work that we're going to do. I've got it set so that it's going to export to C bomb exports, and then it's going to place it into this folder here. I'm going to grab some files. Now, remember, the first time you click it after updating a dispatch file, it's going to take a moment because it has to recompile that dispatch into a runtime add-in. So we right-click on it, and then we wait. Then we slide down here to export bomb. Once we click that, we will be prompted with the input box that we set up first. Enter the bomb export file name, no extension. The file that we already have out there is called 0761 assembly upper engine. This one might be 0762 assembly, whatever. I mean, that, that's we're not going to put in the, the, uh, the file extension, but 
you would know the types of data that you're wanting to create as far as creating those part masters in your ERP system. Once you click OK, then you wait for the process to run. You see that it's already created the file for us in the background, and then we should get a message box saying that the process has been completed. The file for 0762 assembly lower end has been generated. Click OK. Dispatch is going to edit the file, so it's going to have a hold of that file. It's hooked into that file. Until it's completed the writing process, we can't open it. So we double click it. There it is, a thing of beauty. So here we go. This is our parameter file. This is what it looks like. It converted all of those variables into meaningful text and uh, data that we can now export to, your e to our ERP system. So hopefully this tip has been helpful to you. It certainly has been eye-opening for us to learn what generating a parameter file is. Believe in the queue.